go. So let us start at the start with a sphinx. And then once you're comfortable in the sphinx and you've cycled approximately three breaths, we need to go into a rotate and reach. Remember, eyes, then head, mm -hmm. then hand and arm. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. That's nice, Kate. And you can turn your thumb to the ceiling. It might aid you a little. There you go. So look over that shoulder. And what you might want to try, especially on um, uh, on the hemiplegic side, is inflating, integrating your breath and inflating on the rotation. Hold. <laughs> And then on the breathe out, see if, see if it gives you any more. Does that make sense, Kay? That's nice, Jules. That's a good sphinx, Gary. Remember, lead with that head. Well done. That's far more stable than, than you have been there, Gary. That's that's nice progress, that means. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> yeah, well done, Tom. It's nice, Timo. Although, did you notice that that your legs lifted? Yes, yeah, yeah. Which that will usually be the sign of that that brace to get the the extra the extra inch. Resist the brace. Just just move through the range that's available to you, and at the oh, end okay. of the range, just stay there and breathe. Mm. Way better, mate. Yeah. yeah, I can feel a little bit more. Yeah. That's nice, TJ. Oh, yeah. Integrate your breathing, mate. That's nice as well. Far more stable again. That's nice, Linda. Are you with us, Mary? Just let you know, Mary, neither your screen nor your mic is on. All right, guys, the... Um, the next one is going to be uh, the rolling suite. However, uh, <laughs> Chris, been through the, the miracles of technology, has alerted me to my uh, lack of etiquette. And we have uh, both mm. Dominica and Kyle with us today. Uh, mm. Kyle is a, a mm. member of the Functional Movement Group, FMS. Um, and I would just right to say you are Gray's lead on the SFMA. Oh, well, 
I don't know if I go that far, but, uh, you know, I, I certainly help Gray out a lot and we've just been loving what we've been hearing for all the great work everyone's been doing on, on this project. So just want to hop on and learn a little bit from all of you. So I'm just hanging out. So thank you all for letting me watch. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the SFMA is a, a qualification that both myself and, um, Dominica hold, um, mm -hmm. sorry, Dominica, it, it, no, it's Dominica. Sorry. <laughs> always get that mixed up um and and actually i think crispin is uh is is due to sit it shortly aren't you crispin I, i've just started it actually yeah yeah, yeah so yeah so um <laughs> carl i i just want to say thank thanks so much for taking the time as as dominica does to 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 be with us it's really yeah it's mm -hmm. really really a pleasure to, to have you on board thank you yeah uh, well i i did uh, i did my fms qualifications um I did them with Gray. I always mm -hmm. thought it's really important to get it direct from the man. And then likewise, when I did the SFMA, I organized my trip over to see Chelsea around when I could attend an SFMA that Kyle mm -hmm. was hosting. As I say, you want to get it from the man. So I, I met um, met Kyle over in, in Evansville. Would have been, uh, I think, I remember, would have been mm -hmm. May of 22, I think. Mm -hmm. So... You uh, you may well hear Kyle dropping in and leaving some pearls of wisdom here and there, but also feel free to to ask him any questions as well. Fantastic. But, <laughs> and as I said, Dominica is here also. You've already had many a many a take of their wisdom, so we will move on and we will go into the rolling suite. <laughs> That was nice, TJ. Make sure we don't go active in the shoulder with that, though, and drag the hips over by pushing out with the leg. And you can do the same again here. Now find the floor. Yes. <laughs> if the sofa wasn't there, TJ, that would have been perfect, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, Linda. Lovely and controlled. Likewise, Samfte. Als Spiegel glatt. <laughs> <laughs> My very best hair flick. I don't think the American knows who <laughs> I know. That's uh, I think it's just only me and you are aware of that one. <laughs> and Christmas. Nice, Corey. That's really <coughs> nice as well, Amber. Lovely and controlled. Uh, you got my good shot. <laughs> you got your Yankees t-shirt on. Eric could be pleased with that. My dad loves baseball. <laughs> I've been to a Yankee game and he thought I needed a Yankee shirt. Uh, that's that's probably a fair <laughs> comment. Nice, Kay. A little dynamic, maybe. I grew up a, a Boston Red Sox fan, so I would take issue with <laughs> the need for a Yankee shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a Worcester Red Sox you had the shirt, Tom. Well, that's the minor league team, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, I'll, I'll let it's you like argue Liverpool that. Liverpool versus the other Liverpool team. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll let you argue that one with Eric. <laughs> That's nice, Timo. 
Really nice. Hi, right, Gary, let's see what you got, mate. Find the floor. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> Lovely, Gary. Try to use that head, though, mate. Try to lead with the head first. Right then, Mary. Let's see if we can dissociate this role. So what we need to do is just the hips turn if you're going with the legs or just the shoulders if you're going with your, your arms. At the moment, if you're <laughs> to your right, no, it, it, you, the, the purpose of, of the role is, to use a technical term, is to dissociate the spine. That is like corkscrewing the spine. So you want the either corkscrewing it from the top so the hips stay where they are and then the shoulder girdle comes over. Or you do it with the legs so the shoulders stay where they are and then the hips come over. Now what will happen is once they get to their full range of motion, they will then almost vertebrae by vertebrae, if you will, drag the rest of them over. So it's if you're leading with the hips... The shoulders are dormant. They just get dragged over by the leg reaching out and stretching out. Mm -hmm. Similarly, if you go in with the arm and the shoulders, the hips just stay dormant and they get dragged over. So let's, let's go through one. Your, your choice, arm or leg? Either one is okay. Or yeah, yeah either, either, either one. But both of them have got utility. As I say, it's just rotating the spine from, from one end, either from the top or the bottom. Right, so that's it. Now slow it down. Whoa, whoa, not bad. That 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 is a, a real nice rolling pattern. But we want to get we want to get it nice and expansive. So if we break it down, so that's it. So pause there. Uh, yeah. Now find the floor with your toe. <laughs> yeah. If you just look, you look in on me, and I'll I'll give you a um a little example, Mary. I can find me in the gallery. Here we are. Mm. Right, so if we're going with the leg, we can break it down into a, a few phases. And it, it's really important, so helpful, that, that you can stay relaxed throughout. So, first thing, flex the hip. Now, in doing so, notice... That my legs relaxed here. Next one, you can reach over with the knee. So you can find the floor with the foot. Notice I'm forward in this position. And then you reach out to four to five o'clock on the clock face. Keep reaching. And you see how everything comes over really slow and controlled. Similarly, going back. Shorten the lever because at the moment it's working against gravity and you, you don't want gravity grabbing hold of a long lever against you. Up, reach over, find the floor, then smoothly reach out. Now, what you did before, it, it's still a valid roll. You sort of used momentum a little and pushed down and came over like that. That's totally fine. Totally fine, but we're using this to sort of floss the spine as, as well as to, to get an expansive pattern. So the, that graceful and expansive one is the, uh, is the way we'd like to see it go about it. Now find the floor and pause, pause when you find the floor. Pause, 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 Mary. Mm. What you did there was when you were round about finding the floor, then you turned on the shoulders and actively turned from the top. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So if you find the, when you find the floor with the foot, mm. if you pause and then just reach out with the foot and just keep reaching, it'll turn everything over for you. 
you won't need to engage. Now you're going to reach out to eight o'clock. Reach. Not bad. Now you needed to use a little bit of momentum there because instead of reaching to eight o'clock, you, you straightened out to six o'clock. So let's just give it one more go and pause when you touch the floor. And then you're going to reach for eight o'clock, not six. Now reach, straighten out for eight o'clock, for eight. Yes, we got there, Mary. Hey. <laughs> Right, don't know. Right. You, can, you can do and you can do exactly the same when you're coming back. Um shorten the lever, reach over, find the floor, and then then reach for four o'clock. So find the floor and put whoa, where's those shoulders going? That's it. Find the floor. Find the floor. Pause. Straighten the leg. You're getting there. No. Uh, it, as and when you watch that that video through, Mary, you, you'll you'll definitely see what I'm talking about, and you, you I think you were getting the feel of it there as well, especially when you had naughty shoulders, you know, and so mm -hmm. you reach out with those legs, and that will that will flip you over. Um, <coughs> anyone, any questions you want to ask, or anyone want to make any points? No, that's good. Well, next one we're going to move on to is, is bear dog. However, there's a uh, regression for those where bear dog might be too challenging that myself and Dominica have been chatting about recently. And this is how we go. You will be, find the floor, find the floor, Mary. That's it. <laughs> so, we'll be familiar with a lot of it. So I remember, guys, and particularly Gary, always pay attention and have discipline with getting into that quadruped position. It, it's um, don't take it as a marker of progress that you can just rapidly get into the uh, to aspire to rapidly get into the quadruped position. Move through the sequence until you've got it nailed, and you know you can feel when you're in a good quadruped position. So, one, two, three. So then from your quadruped, foot to the rear, keeping it in line with the hips, and then just pull the elbow up to the torso, in place, Back in, other side, replace. Now, those of you who are comfortable with the bear dog, you know, we can come to the midline. You should be integrating your breathing, and then you come out into the bear dog. But, say, for instance, for Gary and TJ, I'm, I'm, I'm Mary, see if you can just make sure that you're uh, happy with the regression first. And then we'll, we'll see. Do you, do you remember the, the one with what, what Gary's going to do now? So we go one leg to the rear. So keep, keep that head up looking forward, Gary. Now what you would... Now, now Gary, don't, don't lift the leg. You just do that regression test. If you... If you Bring that knee back to the start position, mate. And I want you to keep the weight, keep the shoulders over the hands so you can feel the weight going through the hands. And then when you take the leg back, I want you to keep it in line with the hips. If you go to the middle, you'll reduce the amount of stability it offers. Excellent. Are you going to keep the weight over that right hand? And you're going to lift the elbow to your torso if you're confident. If you're not comp, no, keep the keep the arm down, mate. Keep the arm down, and it's just pull the elbow in into the side. Keep it touching. That's it, and then replace. Bring the knee back, and we'll do it for the other side. We'll check your quadruped. Only move on once you're happy with your quadruped. 
Get your breathing. Get your breathing. Be in control of your breathing before you lift that hand. And keep your shoulder over that right hand. And replace. Excellent, Gary. You can, you can see that, that you're learning through that already. And it's that attention to detail. Do not be too... Don't, don't rush into trying to do the full bird dog until you're really happy you've got stable confidence in that, mate. Nice one, Gary. Nice see one. Let's see you, mate. Good Gary. Mm, yeah. Great quadruped, that, Timo. Nice quad. Integrate your breathing. Head up, looking forward. Excellent, mate. Now, remember, if you keep your weight over that, the shoulder over that, that stock and foot won't slip back. So more forward. No, you, you're fine now. It, it was just that when you lifted the hand, you were pushing the foot into the floor and you slid backwards. Oh, you know? okay. But if you keep the weight over the hand. And breathe away that ataxia, mate. You can feel that knee slipping back, isn't it? So come back to the quadruped. Get that sorted out and possibly, that's it, crawl a little forward so you, your, the remaining foot is going to stay on the mat instead of on the, on the flooring. There we go. Okay. How's that quadruped feel? Does it feel a little tight? Hands and knees? Yeah. yeah. That's nice, mate. Head okay. up and forward. That's nice, Mary, by the way. Head up, looking forward, Timo. And breathe. That's great, mate. Nice controlled return as well. Well done, mate. Thank you. That's great, that, Kay. That was really nice. Thank you. Bet there was bedlam in yours on Wednesday night, wasn't there? Yeah. <laughs> is, it the, is it the eldest who's the Liverpool fan? Or the, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he always went... Yeah, I take it he was uh, he, he was nice and magnanimous. <laughs> yeah, of course, didn't rub his brother at all. <laughs> That's great, that guy. Really nice. Okay, I'm back. Yeah. This has been helpful. Yeah. I see that I feel on what I said when I asked. Excellent. So I'm trying to not feel. That's really nice. Great awareness as well. See my balance. But you, you only need to lift that elbow as high as the torso. You don't have to lift it as high as you can. I think if you lift it as high as you can, if, if you try to lift it as high as you can, that, that will encourage a skew. If you just lift okay. it the torso and, and keep okay. it relaxed but firm control. All right.
and you try to get your try to keep control of your breathing and try to keep those shoulders over over the hand yeah that is what it, I do. I move back when I lift. Yeah. Well, I move back. Yeah. And then also a little when you when you go back with the leg, the hips tend to follow it a little. Oh. Okay. And if the hips go back, that will pull your shoulders yeah. back. So if you just keep that weight over that hand, get breathe, cycle a breath there, and just be aware of the shoulders over the hand. That's nice, Amber. Fair, fair, but not right. And try, try the other side as well, because each side yeah, will inform each other. I'm dead. Hey, that's nice, Jules. Very nice. How does, how does that feel when it's done on that side, mate? Um, less stable, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better, you know. Yeah. Time. Well, it it's certainly more stable than it was, mate. I think it is mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. yeah. You know, and the 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 quadruped is still good. There's a little bit of a tendency to go back at the hips, but that that that's lovely, that mate. I wouldn't. You know, uh, I wouldn't nitpick on that one. Very nice, Jules. Thank Jules, you. if you if you rotate a little bit round to your left, yeah. I, I wondered if you made making things slightly harder for yourself with that right hand coming forward because you were. Um, because it's, you, there, it's Yeah, 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 yeah. Just uh, see how. That's better. Yeah, well done. I can't keep my um, right toes tucked in, they always slip out. But yeah. well, it, working on it. it. It's all moving in the right direction, mate. Absolutely. Yeah. Good work. Mm. Righty-o. Next is either the frog flow or the quadruped to squat. I think for the frog flow, it would be wrong if we started anywhere other than Timor Tamar Tarim. Mm -hmm. If I can find him. Where are you hiding, Timor? Is he gone? <laughs> there, oh. he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so there's too many people in tonight. I have to roll a couple of times. Good, good awareness, that team. Nice. Get your breathing before you move next, mate. That's it. 
that's it. Well done. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just breathe, mate. Just breathe. Yeah, getting the way forward seems to be a problem. Have a little shift the angle with the hands then, mate. If you can go, do, do if, you go out a, if you go out a little wider with one of them, it will afford a, a different angle to twist on. And you'll be able to reach forward with the other one. Uh-oh. There we go. Unlucky, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a proper effort, though. Well done. Thank you. Corey, next up, mate. <laughs> Look ahead, mate, not down. That's it. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Get those feet how you like them, mate. Don't just accept where they land. Mm. That's it. Well done. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it was good though, mate. It was so hard. In there. Really nice, Corey. Well done. Nice. Remember to integrate your breathing, mate. Especially on that return. Yes, much better, mate. Much better. Well done. Mm -hmm. Right, then, Gary. That's quadruped to squat, mate. <clears throat> That's looking nice. Great attention to detail, Gary. Well done. That weight over the hands. So walk the hands back. That's it. Slow it down. Keep it nice and slow. Well, unlucky, mate. Little, little bit rushed was all. Everything you were doing was right. Yeah. You want to have another go with that, Gary? Get yourself into a nice quadruped. Make sure you get a good spinal position, head up. I 
Think about the width of your feet. How, how wide apart are they? If it feels right, that's good. Now breathe, Gary. Breathe. Don't let those hands go too narrow. That's it. Get the arm inside that knee. Breathe. Breathe. Keep the weight yeah. on the hands. Weight on the hands. Until you've got the confidence. If you feel that position stable. Just breathe. Just breathe. Magnificent, Gary. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Nice job. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah, you were practicing. Good job. <laughs> Superb, mm -hmm. Gary. Well done. That was really nice there. Very TJ, scary. you've got a high bar to follow, mate. So good. Mm -hmm. Nice, TJ. Good attention to detail. Yeah. Yeah. Walk those hands back, that's it. It's all right. That's okay, mate. You can have another try at that. You try to keep a handle on what you felt led to the compromise there. Nice. Once you get in that quadruped, Gary, I want you to just feel the quality of it, make any adjustments you need, but just breathe in that position. Head up and looking forward. Head up. That's it. Now move back, mate. Keep those shoulders over those hands. That's it. Walk them back, but keep the shoulders over them. Keep the weight on those hands. And keep control of your breathing. Breathe. That's it, TJ. Walk those hands back slightly and get those heels down. That's nice, TJ. Where did he go? All right, it's TJ. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. I'll get the weight oh, onto those hands. Okay. Great. Okay. See if you can now. Pause. Don't rush, mate. Don't rush. Keep your breathing. Too narrow, I think. Oh, I can push you back. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can Back. Yeah, the, the the one of the biggest influences on on that is going to always going to be the the width of your feet. It needs to be wide enough 
to allow the, the hips to come between them, <laughs> then close enough together that it still gives you enough support. But TJ, you're getting there, mate. Yeah. Amber, how is your knees and hip? Are they allowing a squat? Or you I cannot squat, but I can call and yeah. lift my knee to the cup. Hold on. Hold on. Nice, Amber. My feet are good. Nice. Use your breathing. Oh, very nice, Amber. Whoop. I'm better on the other. Tuck those toes under if you can. Or well, certainly the, on the standing leg. Big breath in before... That's nice, Amber. Uh, that, was, that was easily good enough. Well done, Amber. Thank you. Hey. Magic So good, Kay. Hey, that's awesome. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's all you, that flexion. Get your breathing. Mm. Brilliant, Kay. Really oh, nice. Well done, Kay. That was so nice, that Kay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Jules. <laughs> and uh, foot position and width. That's nice, mate. He was seen apart, what? Yeah. Have you breathed in? That's nice, Jules. Whoa. Mm -hmm. That was great. I wasn't expecting the stand, mate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, excellent. Well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nice one, Jules. Yeah. Really nice. Mm -hmm. That's looking stronger and stronger, mate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good job. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's nice as well. That's great. Ex excellent, Jules. Look, look, it's hard to find things to pull you up on. Just maybe mm -hmm. try to keep those knees apart when you yeah, that's one on, of the, the things. on the squat. Yeah. yeah. I think it won't be so much concentrating on that when you're trying to come up. It's more the, the position you start from. And the more you can feel and recognize what's going to work to just push you straight up rather than those knees yes. cave in, mm -hmm. that, that'll, be, uh, that'll be the way forward for you, mate. That, that was really nice. Thank you. Tom? That's it. Try and work on the width. Mate, hey, that's getting that's getting better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember your breathing. Big. Nice. I do that Lovely. better as an isolated exercise in a flow. Yeah. <laughs> well, but that that's also the beauty of it. Of what, you can start getting that that transitional control is is where the uh, the magic is, and that's what the the flow will start to give you. But it didn't didn't Santiago do do something with when the legs are thrust out, or he lifted one of his mm -hmm. hands? Yeah. I've tried that, but yeah, he's successful. not with us tonight. He, he was, uh, he really was quite smooth at it, wasn't he? And I, yeah. I don't know, mate. I don't know. Yeah, Tom. He was um when he was in the crab. He um rather than just extend one leg, he was uh he was extending the the contralateral yeah. arm as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was fine. Yeah. It's too easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. It didn't work. Mm. Yes, yes. Um, Mary, are you uh, are you familiar with what we're after here? I think so. So you wanna fall? Keep those hips low. That's it. Excellent, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and then into the crab if you can. So hands behind. Yeah. And then in turn, just extend each leg. That's it. Perfect. And what that does, that makes you reset your base for your, for your squat. Excellent. Excellent. Right. And can you stand from that, Mary? Um, not without something to hold on to. Well, that, that, that's fine. You stay down there then. Just go return to the court crawl. Just go into a crawl from there then, Mary. That's fine. That's a beautiful Please, wow. spot, though. Well done. Und jetzt for unser Stern. Yeah, come on, Zach. Stand. Stand. Linda. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. 
always get nervous. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't rush things. <laughs> Nice attention to detail, Linda. It's fair to get the knees first, but... Well, it, you know, to, to get as best. Ah, okay. For, for awareness of, of what, what's required. Now, that's great, Linda. That's nice as well. And that that's great. Considering the struggles you used to have to try to uh, mm -hmm. get any vertical, yeah, that, that's what. Nice. Well done, Linda. Right. That's nice. great. Well, have we, uh, is anyone outstanding here? Have I missed anyone? No, I think Chelsea's had to go for whatever reason. I see. Oh, well, we're going to finish with the, uh, the, the Turkish get up. Although, Dominica, any, anything to, to comment so far? I think great, great work by everyone. Two, two things come to mind. Um, you know, when you're, when you're practicing on your own and you don't have Steve's keen eye watching you, uh, one of the most important things somebody said to me when I first became a trainer was what you least want to do is what you most need to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's true. A lot of the time uh, with some of these positions, it's easy to get really focused on achieving that end position. And it, it's great if you can keep in mind that idea that slow is smooth and smooth is fast. The goal is not necessarily the end position, but how you get there. And it's almost always a good time to pause and cycle a breath. Mm -hmm. And the more that you feel the urge to go fast, the more likely it is that that's a really great place to slow down and cycle a breath. Um, but you know, I think incredible work and you can see everybody's progress from session to session. Um, you know, those are just a couple ideas to think about as you practice on your own. Yeah. Brisbane or Kyle, would you like to, to add anything before we go into the Turkish get up? Yeah. I, just, I just like to say I'm super impressed. I mean, it's my first my first time uh, observing, but wow, I was blown away. Uh, you, you, there's a, there's a lot of you that are moving better than I think I can. So, uh, keep up the great, keep up the great work. You all are, you all are doing amazing. Well, Linda, you, you might as well stay on the camera. Yeah. I'm still on spotlight. I saw that. <laughs> Uh, oh. Nice. Well done. You remembered about that low knee. And just in time, yeah. That, that's so nice, that. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Really nice, Linda. Really, really nice. It's good. Now remember, pay it. Oh, you you're not going to go up from there. Um, I wanted to go up, but the camera top is too far away. Okay, well you can adjust. Ah. 
<laughs> I'm not going to let you get away that easy. <laughs> Breathe. Let's have a full belly before we go up there and so you can go up on that out breath. Knee to, knee to the hand first. That's it. Excellent. And you can just see that, that relationship between the hand and the knee because that, that heel had to come up to give you that extra bit of room. One I'm, way I'll get it. Obviously, I'm nitpicking because that, that was great, Linda. I'm satisfied with the left side, but the right side was pretty okay. Yeah? yeah. I, I was impressed with both. Well done. Yeah. Amber. All right. All right. Nice. Really nice, Amber. Yes, well done. Think. Okay. Say, no, don't, don't, don't feel obliged to stick with where with where your feet are when you move into a position. Before each transition, if you feel that you can improve okay. your posture, then then improve yeah. it. Okay. All right. Oh, I did not send this. Oh, oh well. Amber, that was really good. What was one? It's really good. Think about where that hand is. I think that hand needs to be a little bit more behind you. Okay. That's it. Well done. Well done. Uh, that yes. might be it. Okay. That that's the problem at all. not liking it today. Yeah. Well, that's a good right. call. Then. That's a good call. Good. Well done, Amber. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice on the other side. Um, Jory, you're next up, bud. Uh, the sun is coming in. Yeah, oh, you're showing off. There's no sun here, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Got lots of sun. It's a very nice <laughs> out. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Corey. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve, there's no sun. So I'm afraid. <laughs> no sun. I, I went up in wheat, so <laughs> we're still close. Excellent. Good man. Now remember, roll to the weight first. Roll to the weight and pull it into your chest yeah. to, to get it into position. Yeah. So if you... Yeah, well, okay, let's go from there then. We've got this way first. <laughs> Integrate the breathing on each movement. Stare at that bell. Test the position first. Is it everything that you want? Yeah. Keep staring at that bell. That'll tell you where everything needs to go. Ooh, it's a little hard with this hand today. That, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, it it all, all looked really good, and then it also shows a good awareness that that you didn't throw yourself into the movement, mate. Yeah. 
Use the weight, the weight can help direct the movement. That's it. It's there at the bell, mate. Yes, well done, Corey. Mm -hmm. So you want to use want to use this side to inform the other. Yeah. To, to study oh, the, the good. posture. Yeah, it didn't go so good. And the feedback you're getting from that posture, so you can so you can identify what what needs to change. You'll definitely get that conversation from the bell itself. But that was great, Corey. Very impressed, mate. Well done, Corey. Good job, Corey. Okay, next in line. Great. Yes. Really nice, Kay. Oh, love it. Love it. Don't know if you might have noticed, Kyle, but, but Kay was significantly hemiplegic down her left-hand side. We've managed to, to regain, well, make incredible gains with the leg. The, um, the hand and arm is, um, you, you know, it's been a little bit more resilient against our efforts. Mm -hmm. But the leg's it's going amazing. on magic. But, you know, you, you, you wouldn't believe what you're able to do now or, or and the quality of it compared to previous mm -hmm. You want to have a little go on the other side? Yeah. Yes. Reach, reach. Mm. Good That's job, nice. Kate. Kate, Very nice. Magic. Well done. Nice. Really good. Hello. Jules, next up, buddy. <coughs> and the direction of that foot. Right, now think about it. Attention to detail now, Jules. That's it, well done. It's the dorsal flexion, not the hip flexion. Integrate your breathing. Yes, well done, mate. Outstanding. All right. That was brilliant, Jules. <laughs> well done, mate. Okay. Got enough left in you for the second? Yeah, I'm just going to put the uh, foot by the sofa that Dominic yeah. had suggested before. Roll into it, roll into it. That's it. Foot to foot. Yes. Right. Attention to detail again. Yeah. Get tall before your daughter flex.
Breathe. Awesome, mate. Fantastic, Jules. <laughs> really nice. Is that the first time on that side, Jules? Uh, I think it is, you know. Yeah, it is. I think so. That, that was the really? side that time I wiped. I wiped out that time. <laughs> yeah. And um, I don't know if you noticed the foot was dragged underneath just slightly. Yeah. That's what stops it coming up. Yeah. And that's what's been the problem before, just getting the stability on that side. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, well done. Well done, Jules. Cheers. All right, then, Timo. Chance to dance, mate. <laughs> That's it. Breathe on every stage. Nice. Yes, Timo. Um. I would just. Use your breathing. Well done, mate. Well done. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Nice, Timo. Very well. Right. Yes. Keep reaching, reach into the roll. That's it. Well done, Timo. All right. Now let's see. Use that second hand there, TJ. Yeah. Uh, Timo. <laughs> Rather than yeah. yourself, if you feel you're at that point where you want to throw yourself into the movement, that, that's where get that awareness and then, okay, have the other hand down. And then. Right. Yeah, I was trying to go slow, but yeah. I couldn't keep my balance. Yeah, slow, slow is the right way. And then that's where you'll get the awareness and also learn from the movement. And then right. you get to that point where you've either got uncertainty or you feel you're at a barrier. You've got to throw yourself into it. That's where it says, okay, let's go to control movements and have the regression. Put put the hand out. Nice. Great stuff, though, mate. Yes, yeah. nice. thank you. Gary? Nice. Try and use that other hand into the quadruped. Great stuff, mate. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well done.
that that was, that was quite quite a graceful dismount as well. <laughs> Uh -huh. Gary, that that's so nice, that mate. Try and bring that leg through and under rather than the other one the long way round. But that's really good. And try and be a little bit more controlled as you come down. We'll come down that same way. Gonna bring that left leg under and through. That'll do. Well done. TJ, well done, Gary. That was excellent, mate. Really good. See if we can get that right foot pointing to eight o'clock, mate. Eight o'clock, that's it. Yes. Roll foot, that's it. Well done. Make sure that left hand's a little bit more behind you, mate, so we can support you. That's it. Forward onto that right hand, mate. Bring that right knee with you. Walk those hands forward. That's it. Get the weight. Excellent. And back onto your heels. That's it. Walk your hands over. Well done. Now come, come down. Come down the way. The same way you got up. So you're going to roll out. Reach and roll out. That's it. Well done. So nice and controlled onto your back. Swap sides. Well done. Legs, both legs are 45. Nice, nice. See, it's nice. TJ. Good, TJ. So hand to hand. That's it. Now keep the hand to the close to the floor, mate. Reach and roll. Nice. I'll just pause and breathe there for a second. Pause and breathe. And then you're going to bring that right foot to the left foot. Keep that right knee on the floor. Keep leaning forward. Now you're going to drive that left foot. It's got to go into the floor. It's got, that's what's going to move your hips back. So you want your weight onto your hands. That's it. Now you've got to move those hips back. Get that leg underneath you. Don't rush it. Just breathe. You've got to push that left heel into the floor. and Get your weight over your hands. Shoulders over the hands, mate. All from that left heel. Yeah, you can walk walk your hands forward now, mate. Got to get your weight onto that left hand and that push that left left heel into the floor. That'll get your hip up. 
Get that left hand over a bit more, mate. Okay, move, move that left left hand. That's it. Now get over that left hand if you can. You can bring that right hand in a bit more. That'll do you. Okay, yeah, just pause, TJ. Just pause. Pause. Yeah, control your breathing. Big breath into the abdomen. And you've got to be able to feel, feel the floor through that left heel. He's going to try to move away from the couch a little bit. Yeah. That's it. Well done. Julie's got it. That's it. Well, you, you'll get it from there now, mate. You just walk forward with your hands. Yeah. Excellent, TJ. TJ. Well done, mate. Um, Outstanding. Good job. Brilliant. Uh, well done. That's great stuff, TJ. Well done. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> and Tom, is this you to show us out, or is uh, is anyone left on the list? Oh, oh it's Mary. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well done, Mary. Great girl. Now, after what okay. Dominica said about what you least want to do, I, I would say using the kettlebell on this is the top of my list. <laughs> so, Tom, a quick word on that. So, uh, oh, I said a quick word on that because once you're going to add the kettlebell, you really want to make sure you're good about being able to stack everything and it's the yeah. ground carrying the weight. Something that I love is a great intermediate there is if you have a ball, like say the size of a baseball, go Red Sox, <laughs> but, but that actually has a little bit of give to it, that before you jump to the kettlebell, if you have a ball that you can really squeeze, you're engaging the grip, you're giving yourself a visual target, and it gives you something to really check how pristine the movement is before you load it. So... I, I appreciate that you are listening to what you least want to do is what you most need to do. But I would say, I would love to see how that get up looks with you crushing a small ball in your hand and being able to stack everything before necessarily jumping to the kettlebell if you don't feel comfortable with it yet. I've done it, but it's sometimes well, a little shaky in the stand. Well, we're, we're good on one side. And one side, it, it's difficult on the shoulder to get the alignment that that uh, Dominica's talking about. But it looks like he's going with a kettlebell anyway, Dominica. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not bad at all, mate. Right. Now, Yep. Yeah. Good job, Sean. Because what you something really good, which Dominica said there was so you can feel the, the ground holding the weight. 
And that's when, if you can get that straight line <coughs> between the kettlebell to the floor, it, it, whichever alignment of limbs, either when you're doing the high hips and you should have a straight line from the arm through the shoulders and then through the other arm to the floor, or when you're about to go into standing, you want that line is from the arm coming through the torso and then through the um, the, the femur to the floor. You know, because what, what's making it difficult for you there is you want to try to get your, you want to try and get your center of gravity over that front foot. So it's a rise up rather than a step forward. Because when it's a step forward, you've got that momentum to then control when you're going up. Now, you had the weight forward, but you were behind it. So then once again, you might have a center of gravity because the weight's doing it is more to the front foot. But you've got so much of your body behind it. And the moment you move, well, you, you've got to go dynamic. And then that's why you lost control going forward. So I, I think it's really good to stick with the kettlebell up until that point. Because I, I think... It does guide your movement and it, it draws the quality out of it. But I think until you can get that that more vertical posture with the uh, the overhead arm, um, okay. I, I would only go as far as that with the kettlebell. And then okay, you know, yeah. try the try the Linda uh, rise to stand. You know, pop the kettlebell down and then draw to flex over that foot. And then levitate up. That's really good, mate. One, you can try that on the other side. I'll start with the kettle. I'll try the kettle before the stand. Yep. So all of this is really nice, and you can see how the kettlebells informing the movement. That's it. And so, well, that's a much much better posture than on the other side there. But now, so look at the ninety ninety first. Get the ninety ninety so you've got the range of dorsal flexion to load load the calf spring. That's it. Yes. Nice. nice. Well done, mate. Mm. That was nice, that Tom. Right. Thank you. And then Mary. You got to close the show, Dom. Hi. <laughs> so legs are 45. 45. Mary, 45. Mary, Mary. Whoa, breaks. <laughs> but both, both legs go out at 45 degrees. Yes. They, they, they're going to sort of anchor you down. And then one bends, foot flat on the floor, still pointed on the 45. Now, left arm out at 90 degrees. That's it. Hand to hand. Now, well, Mary, pause a sec. Yeah, it's okay. That's, that's fine. That, that right knee, that sort of came with the roll. If you can leave that right knee more vertical, you can get drive out of that foot and that foot can actually drive the roll round. So breath in and out. That's much, much better. Well done. And then this is not true. Good of the transition. Yeah, don't 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 worry about the transition to standard. Don't worry about that. And just going yeah, up to the uh, yeah, and can you try it on the other side? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't have an end game as much. That's not not a problem. You can just take it nice and slow. So reach across yourself rather than bringing it over like an airplane wing, and then keep reaching. Keep keep the hand on the floor on the floor. So take. Remember that down foot, that's it. That you want to keep that knee pointing to the ceiling all the way around into that seated position. 
And then that's nice. Well done, Mary. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so has anyone got any questions, anything they want to, any points they'd like to make or reflect <laughs> on in the whole of the session? Really great work, guys. Really fantastic. Really nice. Anything you want to want to focus on, Crispin? Or um, I think um, ah, oh, I I just I don't know like that that those, those three things again, like breathe, slow down, figure it out. That's can just apply to to to, to so many of us who so doing so many things. But I would also just like to point out that we've done an entire session without any mention of Mummy Bear by Steve, which I think is. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was already in the Goldilocks zone, mate. There was, no, there was no need to coach it out of them. <laughs> great work, great work, everyone. Monica, anything? There were some nice, nice tips on the uh, on the Turkish. Well, anything you'd like to add on the the session as a whole? Oh, I I just think great work overall today. You know, I think the the flows are looking great, and. You know, I, I encourage you if you're playing with the Turkish get up that week, this week, and you want to see if it feels different, give, give that ball in the hand a try because something else that it helps you to practice is really keeping that wrist straight. Because by the time you're going to progress to the kettlebell, you want to be able to control where that weight is taking you. And it does feel different once you start to engage the grip versus not. And it, it's not that one way is better or worse. Different things work better for different nervous systems. So it's something to play with. If there's a sticking point that you've been finding in the getup, see if engaging the grip makes it feel different. Does it make it better? Does it make it worse? You know, what, what does it mean to your nervous system? And I think, it, you know, the, the big thing is approach it as play and information and just, you know, see, see what unfolds for you. That's really good. And Kyle, how did you in, enjoy your first session, mate? Yeah, wow. I'm uh it's amazing. Uh again, I know I've said it a few times, but great job, everyone. I mean, it's um it's 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 really an inspiration, you know, and seeing that you all are working so hard at this, applying all these movement principles that Steve and Dominica mm -hmm. and Chris have been coaching you on. And I mean, it's just it, it's fantastic. So keep up the good work and Hopefully I'll be able to chop in on some some more sessions in the future and I get to see that that progress as it continues to tick up. So thank you for hey, letting me attend. You got op open invite on that, Kyle. Open mm -hmm. invite. So that that's great stuff, guys. And we will see you on Monday with special guest appearance from Brett Jones. Yeah. <laughs> so until Monday, guys. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, everyone see on Monday. Ta-da. Cheers. Bye, Carl. Bye, Dominica. Bye, Steve. Yeah, Thank you. Bye. <laughs>